What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwan. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Now, what you see before you is a very strange looking aircraft, and I'm going to try to fly this monstrosity now. I have been on a bit of an elite and Star Citizen kick. Now, Star Citizen is free to play this week, and I have I already purchased Elite Dangerous many, many months ago. <laughs> it's my relaxation game. I play it when I'm trying to relax. So, I'm probably doing it all wrong, but instead of worrying about gimbling guns, we're going to see if we can get this beast off the ground first. Alright. I think our main engine should be on. The main engine should be our... Our VTOL engine is a modified uh, propeller from Fire Spitter. Here we go. There we go. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is kick on... Our Panther, I believe it is. This is our Panther engine. Is this Panther? That is Panther. And I'm going to kick on the afterburners. And then I'm going to kick on our Ramjets here. I'm not really high enough for these to do very much. But I need to now turn off my VTOL engine. And this thing has so much freaking lift. It can just glide. It has a very, very low stall rate. This is not indicative of the experience one would have with an elite going faster than light and all of the fun things, you know, the... Wow, this is really slow. <laughs> this is not fast at all. I have three inches going full throttle right now and this thing is not going almost anywhere. Well, this is a big disappointment. I think the, <laughs> the transport ships go faster than this even. Well, let's see how well it maneuvers at least. Oh, yeah. Look at that maneuverability. Oh, it's so stunning going its whole 27 meters per second. Oh, my God. That's about how fast I go when I'm going into one of those stations, into the toaster pods, as people like to call them. Uh, oh, God. Come on. Level out. I know we're slow. God, we're slow. <laughs> oh, my God. The benefit is it flies. And it flies rather well, extremely, at extremely low speeds. It's not very maneuverable. You're not going to get a loop out of it. But it flies, and you can't see a dang thing from inside here. Because I forgot to put someone in the upper cockpit. This thing actually holds three Kerbals. So, this is rather dreadful as far as a craft for Elite would go. Uh, I haven't tried Star Citizen. I actually have about... <laughs> three minutes before mine's done installing so I have a little bit of a wait ahead of me but I'm going to be playing here eventually look how slow it is but look how beautiful it is it's beautiful it's huge it's bulky and it flies it doesn't look like it should fly but it flies in KSP it is actually really well balanced and God, it's slow. So let's bring out the other two crafts that I have for today that I have been teasing everybody about. So, all right, let's let's put this. Oh God, let's put this monstrosity away for a little bit. <laughs> all right, so here we are with Pale Eagle. Now this is one that I made that was pretty sweet. It doesn't even resemble an eagle, but I happened to name it that before I started thinking about anything <laughs> in regards to. Elite or even Star Citizen. So we're going to see uh, this one actually should fly pretty well as well. Whoops. I forgot this one is actually a VTOL. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that's one hell of a way to start. <laughs> There we go. Oh, no, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. We need to get off the ground. 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 Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that one doesn't fly very well. Hold on. I... <laughs> Let me make sure I got this down. I need to first, I need to turn these on, make sure these have boost. Okay, we're good there. So what I need to do now is use my VTOL engine that I forgot was even in this craft. Gear up. Forward engines, go. Afterburners, go. There we go! Hey! What do you know? It actually works! I knew it worked! I knew it would work! This one should have a little bit more maneuverability. Whoa! That is a weird flying airplane. But look at it! It flies and it's beautiful! Can you really say that? That is a beautiful little plane. I love how it looks. Now... Oh, man. I, I will be honest. When I saw Scott Medley do his video, uh, he did a live stream, and he was talking about uh, he had to, had built a Sidewinder. I had actually built a Sidewinder, but I didn't like how mine came out. So I decided to shelve it and have never looked back. But this one... <laughs> this one here actually does perform a bit better uh, and actually flies like my sidewinder did horrible uh, i could not get it to work right i have since learned a lot of tricks with this sidewinder with the, this design style so it has allowed me to actually come back and make some crafts that work although they're rather slow in every department as far as top speed and as far as agility, this one's actually one of the more agile crafts that I've built like this. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> hey, he survived! <laughs> I can't believe I even made that! <laughs> Alright, so what you're seeing here, this is Bandit. This was my original craft that I had built for this. And this one actually does a normal lift off. And it is, um... I keep forgetting to, to map my toggles in here, so... Do forgive me! Well, hopefully it doesn't wobble. Don't wobble. Just lift off. Just lift off. It doesn't like to lift off. That's the other problem I had with this thing. It gets up to speed, though, so let's wait for it. Hold on. Wait a second. It'll get there. It gets there eventually. Hold on. Wait a tick. <laughs> I really, hold on. Let's go back and let's map out this thrust. I need the afterburners. All right. Everything's good. Everything's beautiful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and burn this afterburner now. All right, all right, come on, come on. You know you want to lift off. You know you want to lift off. It doesn't want to lift off. It's going to lift off, though. It's going to lift off. It always lifts off. Vagoosh! There we go. This one does a little dip dive when it flies, but it does actually turn a lot better than the other crafts I've built. Look at this! Look at this! This thing is flies amazing for an aircraft that looks like it does. This is actually pretty freaking cool. Now this one, Bandit 1, this was the first one I had built, and I was trying to see if I could design something like my Sidewinder look. And ended up creating this. And this is just freaking cool. I love to fly it. And I love how it handles even more. Because you can do all sorts of fun turns with it. And it has so much lift that it's able to handle it just right. Oh, man. 
This would be an awesome thing to fly. Uh, this is even more fun to fly in KSP. This one uses almost all stock, stock parts. And you can see here how well it handles. Whoa! <laughs> I can definitely put up on um, on Kerbal X. I have put the motorcycle on Kerbal X for those that were asking for it to drive. I need to put the jet version up. So by the time you're watching this, the jet version should already be up on there. So do keep your eye out. It should be on there and available as I am speaking now, unless I forgot, in which case... Feel free to say what the hell is going on, Jatois, you, you buffoon! You were supposed to post that motorcycle, but you have to say it in that exact accent, or else it doesn't count. Oh dear God, did I just screw that up? Oh, oh my God, this aircraft is too badass. I will definitely post this one if you want to fly it as well. This aircraft is definitely one of my better flying ones that are that is using this very intricate design if you want to take a look inside here you can see that yes it does have some uh sas points on here but it's only using two and yet it is very very stable uh for this flight design and i use that mostly because my aircraft had to be extremely maneuverable if it was going to be something that is similar to elite and similar to Star Citizen, which I am about to go and begin playing because it's finished installing and I want to go try it. So you might see a video of that coming out here soon. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. These have been my three crafts that I've been working on and I love them a lot. I have another craft that I am playing with, but it is currently under work. So until then, I hope to catch you guys in the next video. This has been your boy Jatois and I am out. Peace! Oh man, this thing is so freaking badass! And we're gonna switch over from VTOL mode. And you'll see everything kind of flips up and over. And now our engines are... Oh! <laughs>